floats off better if you take turn that off. <laughs> floats off better if you unhook the winch trap. <laughs> Morning America! We are in Alaska and I have a new friend. His name's Mark and Annie. Mark and Annie are going to take me out on that. <laughs> so we're going to go do a little uh, salmon fishing. Uh, they're viewers of the channel and want to uh, wanted me to stop by and say hi. So I'm here and they're going to graciously take me out on the boat. And whether we're going to catch anything or not, I'm not sure. We're up on the... Uh, there it comes. We're up on the uh, uh, Susitna River and uh, north of uh, Wasilla a little ways. And uh, uh, we'll go out and see what we can find. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Yep, come on. All right. So here's the deal. On camera or? Well, no, it don't matter. Okay. So, stay sitting down. Yeah. If you need to get up, get up, do whatever you gotta do, and get set back down. Sitting down is a safe, safe zone. Yes. If you see something that you want me to stop for, uh -huh. yell at me. Okay. If I can, I will. If I won't, we will keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll get out there a little ways. You'll explain the boat. Like how, what kind of boat it is and everything. But well, if you, yeah, once we're at the fish, it, it gets loud and fast in here. So. Very good. All right. So. Okay. I have the same speech. This is, this is the first mate. <laughs> All, right. All right. We're getting ready to go out into the current, and he said, hold on, because it can be fun. <laughs> so let's turn you around here.
stand up now. You go into these really shallow areas, you don't know if you're going to come to a dead stop. So he tells everybody to sit down and be, be bracing just in case. I think we're six feet of water right now. It can go from 30 to like two feet in just a matter of a few feet. I mean, just boom, just like that. You can see how the water comes over and kind of drops off. You can see the, uh, the angle of the water dropping. So there's probably a little sandbar coming out and it's just real, real thin there. on this boat. Yeah. Only hurts for a minute. Just a little bit. Oh. Feel something? Yeah, it's probably the bottom. All right, folks, this is Mark, and he's the, the captain of the boat. <laughs> um, what uh, what kind of boat is it? Can you explain that for everybody? Because I've, I've, it seems like I've heard of these, but not in this kind of setting, of, you know. Well, this is a, it's, a, it's called a Phantom Sport John. Basically, it's, it's a big John boat. A John boat's just a big, almost flat bottom mm -hmm. uh, open boat. Mm -hmm which basically if you take the windshield out of this thing that's pretty much what you got is a big, mm -hmm. big John boat. Al almost flat but it's not quite flat bottom but mm -hmm. uh, pretty close okay and it's got uh what's called a, a mercury sport jet in it which is a and that's in this box right here yeah what kind of a motor is it? like a three cylinder four cylinder or is it a two cycle it's or a four v, cycle it's a two stroke v6 200 horsepower and basically i think what they did is just took the power head off a 200 horse outboard mm -hmm. And then they built an, an inboard jet unit to mate up to that engine. Kind of like a jet ski? Kind of on a, on a bigger scale. Bigger but scale. Yeah, okay. so it's, it's got a little great, there's a little tunnel mm -hmm. to kind of funnel the water into the intake. Mm -hmm. And it's got a, a grate and it sucks the water in through the bottom of the boat and it goes through the impeller and out the nozzle. She said on a jet stream and put propels Yeah, it, and, the, and the nozzle directs the stream that's how you steer the boat mm -hmm. just like just like a, then, a personal then, watercraft yeah, yeah and then it's got a, a bucket that will come down over the mm -hmm. the nozzle to redirect the water forward that's that's reverse. how you reverse it right. yeah. yeah 
So everything keeps spinning the same direction. You don't mm -hmm. reverse the direction of the impeller Got or it. anything. You just redirect where the water flow is. Okay. Um, what was I going to ask about it, too? Um, uh, now, what, what's the purpose of that? Just much shallower water? You don't have to worry about hitting your propeller? Yeah, you don't have a propeller hanging down. There's nothing under uh, the bottom of the, the mm -hmm. boat. So, you know, if you run over a log or or something, it just you kind of right rides over it. over it, and it doesn't doesn't take any hardware with it. Okay, now this won't do like an airboat where you can actually push across mud flats or anything. It's, you still well, no, have to be in water. Yeah, it needs water for, for propulsion. propulsion. But, okay. Um, the nice thing, you know, they say these boats will run in two or three inches of water, and, and they will. But you're scratching for, rocks. Well, for a, for a little ways. Uh, yeah. I mean... Um, if you got momentum? Yeah, and it'll, you know, so long as it's not touching the bottom, uh, you know, it'll, it'll keep going. So... Mm -hmm. um, which is good around here because you can see from the boat right up you mm -hmm. can't you can't see the bottom it's mm -hmm. all muddy and murky so you gotta you gotta read the river from mm -hmm. that's from why you're zigzagging so much down yeah there, right? and and uh i'm fairly good at it but every once in a while you have a you, little excitement it, you, you zag when you should zig and you know zig and you, zag, yeah right? you end okay. up uh, in a spot that you wouldn't have wouldn't have chosen to be and mm -hmm. and if you got a boat like this it just gives you a lot more mm -hmm. uh, ability this this boat will go places a lot of other boats will get right. stuck right okay. and uh, so if if you're not real good at running a boat on the river mm -hmm. one of these will just make you look better than if you got a, a different boat. okay all so, right it's the equipment not the driver yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay um, all right so that's about the boat and everything mm -hmm. um, what uh, how, how, how long is it uh, 21 feet without 20 the platform. You got a little platform on the back yeah. for, uh, yeah. that's for uh, filleting fish. You, you kind of yeah. invented that yourself, you said, and had well, a guy build it? Or well, you saw it somewhere? I mean, there's different variations, but um, there's lots of boats that have them mounted off a rail or something. Yeah. But this has got a hitch receiver on both the front and the back. Mm -hmm. Just and like on a pickup. Yeah. yeah, and it's designed so that uh, the, the whole idea is that you can put a, a hitch mounted winch on there. Okay. So if you're stuck, you can winch the boat off. Oh. If if there's something to pull from, which, a tree over there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I took that and I had a friend of mine who's he's a professional welder, and I kind of told told him what I wanted, mm -hmm. and he said okay, and uh, he he came up with he he put his own little spin on it and came up with something better yeah. than I. Should, there you go. You know, that's for cleaning fish, right? Cleaning yeah, fish and there's a sure. wash down pump over here with a hose, so we got it just sucks water up through a through a build yeah. port yeah, yeah. And, okay. and so you got okay now uh okay the next little question is where are we at we're at, at the merge of two rivers here and you can see the the the, the silt line there's this water's a little cleaner than that water over there and you can see a definite line in the in the water over here probably not coming up on a camera but <clears throat> what's the purpose of that the fish like to be in cleaner water well so looking up this way mm -hmm. this this, well, we are at the mouth of the Little Willow. Little River. Willow River? Yes. Okay. And basically where the mud mud line changes, mm -hmm. that is the Susitna River, Susitna. locally known as the Big Susitna or the Big Sioux. Big Sioux, okay. Um, and the Big Sioux is a braided river. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that it's not. it doesn't just flow neatly through one little channel mm -hmm. it's got all it's kind like a of, delta yeah it is yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh so, and this is just one little little braid mm -hmm. off the river so you it took I, I knew this was here but when i first started doing this it took a while to figure out how to get here because yeah. there's all there's no street of, maps no no, <laughs> no street not. signs yeah and uh, do you have kind of like a GPS or anything? I got exactly like a GPS. Okay, and that was the screen on the on the dash. Yep. Okay. Very yeah, good. that's how it kind of an all is GPS depth sounder, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. But the depth sounder, all the depth sounder does is just tell you how deep it was, you know, about 20 feet behind the boat. Right. After you went through. It. Yeah, because you're going so fast. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we are uh, fishing for uh, silver salmon. That's what we're aiming for. Um, that's pretty much. All that's yeah. around right now, you think? Well, there's there, pinks? there's there's pinks and chums also. Um, okay. But the silver is what you want. Yeah, the silver is what what we want. Um, mm -hmm. But right now, the water this last week we got it rained all week back up in the mountains, mm -hmm. and it just this entire drainage, the big Sioux drainage. Um, there's about 
four feet more water in the river than there usually is. So mm-hmm. like this so little stirred up everything. Well, this little stream is about twice as wide as it usually is. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, it's mucky. Usually you can see the bottom quite often. You can see the fish in here, and it, it's just right. it's all stirred up. And so it's not great fishing, but we you know <laughs> it ain't a stop is a, a bad day fishing, as they say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than a good day at work. So, all right. Well, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. And sure. uh, uh, in case I forget, thank you much for this hey, little, I, little tour. I, this I, has I been. Came uh, I'm going to find me another rod. <laughs> I'll get back to fishing. It's amazing she could be so calm yeah. on, on land and, and uh, turn into a puppy out here. <laughs> Bipolar dog. <laughs> But this, this absolutely works her out. We'll go home. She'll just sleep for the next two days. She's just wild and tired in the drone. Yeah. You just kind of get them over here where I can get a hold. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come on, fish. There you go. Well, that's how you do it. I caught a fish and he threw it away. <laughs> I didn't even get to pet it. I'll tell you what, if you'll eat it, we'll keep it. <laughs> they bad? Really uh, bad. They're, well, especially yeah. when they're all humped up there. Yeah, they're, they're half rot. Right. Woohoo! Okay, put your rod in the holder, flip the bed. Gotta get my pull out of the way. Oh, nice. Hey, you want to, there you go. Okay, I'm going. Get over here. I'm going with it. Well. Gotta let, gotta let the dog lick on it. <laughs> Tack dog. Hey, that's a fishing dog. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, honey. It's still a hook on me. Yeah, there is. Hey, hey, get out <laughs> No, no. What are we looking for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm filming a dog. Forget about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so. <laughs> uh, of course I don't. Now that's a silver. Okay. The way you can tell it's a silver is there's there's small black stop, uh, spots okay. here on its back, mm-hmm. and the gum line is kind of dark. Okay. And well, it's a king looks very similar to that. Well, a king song. has will probably be bigger. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and the spots, it has black spots, but there's less of them, and they're bigger. Okay. Um, somebody's showing me the, the lips are black instead yeah. of gray. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. You got it or you need a hand? Oh, I got it. It's about dead. Give me a little rod for you. Oh, he's all wrapped up. He's gonna unwrap himself. <laughs> oh, jeez. In there, kid. Sure. 
Tony, help me. I said, I said throw it back. Help me. Help me. I, I, now, do you have a dog fishing license? <laughs> Come here, Chloe. Come here. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> Dog. You keep this up, we're getting a babysitter next time for <laughs>